Hello, my name is Renee C. I'm the site owner of EasyDrupalTutorials.com as well as another website called Drupal How To's. In this video tutorial, I'm actually going to share with you how you can go ahead and start adding a book. So, once you've gone ahead and enabled the book module by going to the site building modules area down here notice it's been checked off you can actually now go to and you have set the permissions for it which is in the previous video that I created you can click on create content in the site navigation menu and notice that you can go ahead and create a book now Many people are wondering, why would you even want to use a book? Well, later on as we teach you how to create your own wiki on your Drupal page, one of the required modules that you need to enable is actually the book module, table of contents, and a whole bunch of other modules. The reason why it's so wonderful to have a book is because you may want to actually create a manual. On my website, since since I'm teaching people how to work with Drupal and it's actually geared to the audience of non-technical people it would be a good idea for me to create a book and then people can access easily the table of contents where they can start with the beginning basics of just installing Drupal and I can structure the navigation of the books by saying the next one can be how to install modules, how to install themes and each of these books can actually have a structure within it. Another application of why a book is good is that you may have FAQs or frequently answered questions. So what I've done right here is I've created an FAQ page and these are three different books that I've created. If someone is actually thinking of purchasing Drupal hosting, these are some of the questions that may come up. What happens when you click on the Bluehost link on this site? What happens when you click on the Bluehost links, like here or here? What happens when you click on the sign up button? So what I do is I basically tell people, well, when you click on this Bluehost link, you're going to go to another website you'll be directed to the Bluehost website where you can actually add your credit card information and explain below are the different steps that you need to take to sign up for a Drupal web hosting account. So if you look at this here, notice that the book actually has the parent item. This is actually what the book is called is I'm thinking of purchasing and if I go back there again and scroll down it could have the next item on the book which is do I pay monthly for my hosting plan or just once and so I answer that question you are only billed once and you can click on the up link and it basically takes you back up one level to the actual book itself so a book could be good if you have an FAQ section where you want it to be structured and organized so your users can actually find your, your uh, FAQs easily without having to go to one page where you've listed 300 questions. That will overwhelm people. Instead, you may create 10 different books and create diff 10 different categories for each book. Another excellent thing about the book is that it could be a resource guide for your users and so it's kind of like having a manual so to speak so thank you for joining me for this tutorial on how to create a book as well as why even use a book and enable the node type book Please take a moment to read this page and I would like to ask you to go back to my Easy Drupal Tutorials website 
or triple how-tos. Enjoy the wild ride.